Welcome back, guys, to Zisto Plays Minecraft. This is episode number 63, if you're keeping score, keeping count. So, just visible, way over there in the distance, just barely rendered from here, is what we worked on at the end of last episode, what I called, I didn't really have a good name for it, but I called it the door chamber or the temple of the door. It was just a silly excuse to make a, a redstone thing where the doors open in a circle. And uh, you guys had some really funny ideas for names, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, somebody said that the mountain it's on should be called the Mountain of Mordor, because there's a lot of doors there. Reference to Lord of the Rings. Uh, so I think that's funny. So that is officially the Mountain of Mordor, and it's uh, the entrance to the Mines of Moria had this door where you would say the elvish name for friend, and the door would open to let you in. So maybe it could even uh, have an entrance to the Mines of Doria. <laughs> the Mines of Doria on the uh, the Mount of Mordor. And then there was a name for the the temple itself wanted to call... Uh, somebody suggested Doorhinge because it sort of is in the shape of Stonehenge. Uh, so all those names, we're going to use them all. I think they're all funny. Uh, we're going to use... Oop, okay, didn't take any damage. It is the Mountains... Let me, let me get it, see if I can get it straight. The Mountains of Mordor. And we might have to establish some kind of mine there. Um, with the Mines of Doria. That that one's mine. I came up with that. But it was... I'm riffing on the Mountains of uh, Mordor. Mountains of Mordor. Mines of Doria. And the Temple of uh, Dorhinge. Pretty funny. Okay, so uh, today we're going to do a little bit with water, and then a little bit later we will go out there and put the second floor on door hinge. Uh, I've been fiddling with some slabs, made a bunch of slabs, smelted up a bunch of stone, and we're going to bring the water from these water column things that are supporting our base, so to speak. We're going to bring that down to the wheat field under our tree farm thing, and try to connect up some of this stuff. So I built this thing. Uh, basically how it started is I was looking out the front door. Shut the front door. I was looking out the front door and I saw this view. I saw some things lining up. Yeah, but I realized I couldn't bring that one water guy down because that is right above our entrance. This is the, the entrance right there with the note blocks. So I was thinking, what if we link these two? It could be like, uh, I don't know, like a a beam, these are columns. And then just to try to break the symmetrical nature of all of this, we could have this guy go down further and have it branch over and go down again. So it kind of creates uh, kind of like a helix kind of thing. First, we should probably go look over here. So I was looking through the, uh, the comments, trying to scrounge up some names for the door stuff, for door, what is now door hinge. Uh, and people were also talking about, like, uh, the ground turned to stone, like there was an earthquake or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess we should go look at this. Apparently, I, I'm not really sure what happened. Apparently, a bunch of ground turned to stone. Looks like it killed the trees, maybe because the soil underneath the trees turned to stone as well. And they couldn't get nutrients through the soil. Does it work like that in Minecraft? I don't know. I've never really thought to ask these questions. All right, we've got like a patch of stone. Like it's growing, like it's alive. Didn't know that was a thing. Oh, fences. Huh. Okay, so we got some fences. And it says, what you thought you could escape. Escape from what? The fences? Pretty sure I can break them. What you thought you could escape? Dude, I just did. That's not hard. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, okay, tell you what, let's just uh, put you there. Uh, just, why can't I place this? Can I not, oh, you can't, can you not make fences multiple high in this patch? Never even thought about that. Yeah, okay, I guess that's a thing. What you thought you could escape? I just did, that's kind of a dumb sign. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on there, uh, but we've got more important things to get to. Yeah, doesn't do anything. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. I got uh, bigger fish to fry tonight. So, okay, so what we're going to do, 
real quick before I can work more on this water thing is uh, we've got to blow up a little bit of ground. <laughs> I could dig it out, but blowing it up is more fun and it's quicker. It's more efficient, right? So that's what I'm concerned with is efficiency in my life. I like to do everything by the book, most efficient manner possible. Not really, but in this instance, uh, we are going to use just a few pieces of TNT to blast out a little bit of ground so that we can dig down deeper. How am I going to get... I guess we can uh, just sort of jump off here. Okay, 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 through the water. Um... There we go. Okay, so we've got to extend this water guy down farther, where it's going to kind of look like a ladder a little bit, or actually, actually it's going to look like fence gates, or not fence gates, but fences um, stacked on top of each other, just really big and made out of slabs and water. So this thing kind of comes down here. This one is going to go down farther, and then we're going to have a similar shape like this brace thing going in this direction. And then the water will continue down in over there. It'll make sense once I've done it. How, what, tell you what, I'm just going to do it. It'll make sense once I've done it. It's easier to show than tell. I thought that might happen. That's okay. No big deal. Okay, go away, water. Uh, we just need to create enough space. Ooh, I need a way out. Do I not? Yeah, I have one. Okay. Kabloomy. Yeah. All right. Good. No big deal. Pretty easy. Oops. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. Um. Okay, dig yourself away out. Let's go through the cave. I think this was actually coal or something, or maybe it was a small cave. At one point, I forget exactly what that was. Maybe it was a cave. And we just have to get down, I think, up to a certain point. It's going to... Yeah, right about there we've already dug underneath there so we just have to get to that point and then we should be golden and we've already got clearance i'm just kind of i'll clean it up later we can clean it up later we don't have to clean it up now okay so too deep it's pretty good rule of thumb jump in get the cobblestone i don't know why i'm so finicky about picking up all the oh, hello skeleton all the uh random cobblestone i've got more cobblestone than i than i know what to do with wouldn't hurt to find uh, some project to use a bunch of cobblestone on, although I guess indirectly I've been turning it back into smooth stone and into slabs for things like the uh, Mountain of Mordor door hinge project. <laughs> Try saying that with a straight face. <laughs> it just sounds silly. Okay, uh, are we almost there? A few more. Uh, what am I doing using my pick? Let's just use your TNT, bunny. And then try to find a way out of the blast range. Good. Okay. And straight down. Straight on till morning. It's getting dark. I think I should be able to run right back here. Oh, I was going to build something here. And I think that one of the boat loaders is right on the other side of this block. And I walled it up. I think that's what that was. Yeah, okay. So we're basically there. I'm going to clean it up and extend this downwards. And, uh, well, then I'll, you'll see what it looks like, and it'll make sense, I hope. Okay, two more. Two more. Uh, dig you back there. And let's see. There. And then I need to get the heck out over in that direction. Okay, we're good. And run away! So, I was talking sometime in the past about wanting to bring kind of the gridded, geometric, cool stuff from up there, down deeper into the mountain. And I think this is going to be the beginning of it. I'm kind of, I'm liking the way this is starting to frame the entrance. The way that this lines up with that. And I think over time we'll start to kind of expand these, uh, th this kind of stuff up the wall so that it is eventually some kind of portal or doorway. And not just this little thing down on the side. Uh, it'll all start to link up eventually. 
Um, so, okay, so this is what we've built. I've got, uh, let's see, let's go up a little bit higher. I've got to unblock the water anyway. Um, so I, I showed this thing before, this, this brace thing. And so now it sort of wraps around. It comes down this way. And this water, that water ends there. The brace comes across here. And then it goes down here. Then there's a brace going across here. So it's kind of, uh, it's on the grid and it's asymmetrical. That's, t those are two things that I want this, this base to sort of emphasize. And I wasn't sure up until now how to do it. And uh, we should be able to come up here and I've got some cobblestone there blocking the water. And this water is also going to be the source of the river for the wheat farm and the trees and all that stuff down in that big cave we've been working on for a while. Okay, whoops. So let's just bust a Rooney these. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so let's uh, just kind of look around at it for a bit. And uh, then we'll go figure out how the water is going to enter into the river stuff, into the wheat farm. Yeah, I think it's starting to look cool. We still need to do something. Um, I like these stairs, and I've decided to keep them. I think they might reach up to the edge at one point, and I think we need to add those stair things farther down the, farther down into the base. Let's see. Okay, so um, the water starts up there, and then comes down and stops. And then there's this brace that comes across, so that water goes down further. And then there's another brace going across this way, so then the water beneath the brace going there, it stops. So there is kind of a, there's a logic to it, which I was kind of missing before. I didn't know quite how to approach it. But uh, these braces are kind of helping me bring this stuff down into the base. Oh, we got to do one more. I forgot. Okay, so... Um, the water, I think the water right above there, I think we just have to break a few stones. I don't think we have to place any buckets. How am I going to get up there? Uh, I guess we'll just do this. This is the old tunnel before we did the note block stuff and before we turned this into water. Uh, this was the old entrance, so we just sort of dug into it. And at some point, I guess I will uh, break through it. All right, so if I break that, is that water? Yes, okay, we're right at that level. Sweet, okay, that was simple. So that water continues down all the way through there from that stuff above there, so maybe, I don't know, eventually we will break through that and it'll all be one big thing. Uh, but for right now, they're kind of separate. So that water goes down through there and there's a brace. Oh, I didn't break that either. Okay, we got a lot of leftover stuff to break. Then this one will eventually go down further, and that might be the end of it, because we, we're going to run out of mountain. We might be able to fit one more brace, or we might just end it there. And we got to break these. Like so. And then this guy right here is going to be the source of the river leading down through the wheat farm. I wasn't sure how to do that, so I hadn't really... Ow. I hadn't built it yet, because I just... Uh, I don't want to build a river if I don't know where it's coming from. You know, it might be at a different level. It Basically, it all depends on where it's coming from. So I think what we might do is turn this kind of into a like a spigot or something, just a, a little tap. So let's, uh, let's dig down one extra level just to get this off the ground. I want it to be pouring through the air. So I want to break the stuff underneath it, and then I'd really quickly, I'm just gonna dig like a little path, just to get an idea what it might look like. And then after that, we're gonna head over to the uh, the, the mines of Mordoria, <laughs> the mountain of Mordor. Oh no, the mines of Doria, not the mines of Mordoria. It's the mountain of Mordor, the location of Stonehenge. It's it's hard to keep all that straight in your head when you're trying to say it. Okay, toss down a few torches. Uh, so all this is gonna have to come down a level. This is why I hadn't really done a lot here, because 
things like this. I wasn't sure of where we'd be starting, and that's going to influence everything beneath it. We're going to have to let the water cascade, although uh, it doesn't have to be like a like a cascading river from the source blocks way up there. Uh, so I will put some source blocks and stuff in there if we want it to be not quite as slopey, as hilly. But I do want it at least one block off the ground. I think I've got some dirt. Sweet. Cannot wait for enchanted picks. Holy cow. And this is like, this is fast mode right here. Try breaking a staircase. I relocated the staircases a little bit to go around the stuff we've been building a little bit better. And I'm going to guess, yeah, there's just stone under here. Going to have to redo all that. Okay, so um, let's just uh, clear out a little spot for the water to flow into. And I'll worry about all this stuff later. Because it's going to be kind of tedious and slow to fill up with all these things. Uh, so, let's see. One, two, three, four. So then I guess at a minimum I would have that. About that kind of looks like a guy sitting in a chair or a robot or something I don't know uh, what do you think about that I think maybe we should put the slabs consistent oh I can't place okay I cannot place that slab because of that torch and now we put it back um, tell you what, let's hop up here. Oops. Something like that. Uh, that's the basic idea. Maybe we'll f change it over time. I will almost certainly change it over time. That's the basic idea. That the water comes down from this system and then flows into here. There might be a little pool here. And I'll probably have grass. And, uh, just some, like, scenery to set off all the grays of the cave, and then a lot of this is going to be wheat farm, and the, the the river is going to just sort of flow down this hill, kind of like this, something like that, and then down into here, approximately. So here we are at Door Hinge at the mountains of Mordoria, and I was thinking about the second level. This is the amount of space we have left before we reach the build limit. That's the last block we can place. And uh, my first my first thought was to put another redstone doohickey up here with another door thing um, that would just be kind of different from this one. But then I had a better idea. I was thinking about doors, and I think I got a little bit extra abstract with it. So here's what we're gonna do: we are gonna have three different three different types of doors. I feel like I'm talking to this dog here, but I'm talking to you. Three different types of doors. Uh, this door here is a door that lets you travel through space. You step through from one place to another. You're traveling through space through a door through space. Uh, then up here, we are going to have a portal to the nether. Ooh. Ow! Which is a door to a different dimension. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we're going to have a door to a different dimension, the nether. Um, and so that's what this outline is. I'm trying to figure out how high we can go and where it's going to go. And then our third door is going to be a bed. Yep, a bed, which is a door through time. Ooh, oh yes, cool ideas, huh? Okay, so um, I want to have another ring here. I would like to have some form of separation. So for instance, if we have a ring of slabs at this level... And we're down there. You can sort of see some of the sky. It's not going to be totally floating, but we're going to have it like that. And then we'll need to bridge these across. And I think the obsidian is going to be right here. And I'm going to make a four-door nether temple, nether portal, four, like a four, four portals, four portals in a square. Uh, it'll be basically in that configuration where that glowstone is. It, like that, like so. We might mirror the glowstone too, because you don't need the obsidian at the corners. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to build over here. I'm going to put this stuff up, throw it up, and then uh, we'll try to find room to put the bed up on the ceiling for the door through time. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Starting to look pretty nice. So that's the second level. I mean, it's not obviously not done. We still have another, like the roof to put on. What's it, what's it in the, the bed up there? I've got one bed here and I crafted another. So um, it'll all be nice and I guess symmetrical, yeah. So the beds will go in that square right above the center of those four portals. We can like this guy. I'm not sure if we're far enough away that this is gonna create a new portal or if it's gonna link up to the one in the base. If it is in the one in the base, maybe I should make sure that I have everything I want because it is a bit of a walk. You've gotta go up and down, not just lengthwise, but you gotta go up and down quite a bit to get over here. Okay, clippity-clop. Got some some doggy dogs over there. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, let me just take a look in this chest, see if there's anything I wanna leave here. Let's take the extra obsidian. I don't need all that wood either, and I could use some in the base. Uh, I will leave some of that glowstone, take uh, some of the dirt. Uh, oh, I'll take this redstone. Because I have been using a lot of it. Uh, uh, boop, okay, that's good, it's fine. So eventually, I think we're gonna need some kind of staircase thing you do to get to the second level. And how we get to the third to use the bed, I haven't even thought of yet. Let's see where we end up. And uh, eventually, yeah, okay, so it linked up with my portal, but uh, eventually I will give it its own portal and we'll build a tunnel for it. Haven't been in the nether, nether in a while. The only other portal I really got is the one over there that leads to the piggy temple. And uh, to get to the sand outpost, you gotta go up there and along through the roof. Okay, that's it. Back to the base. That's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, leave your feedback below. Um, yeah, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.